Hello, friends and strangers. I am Heli, and this is Rune Factory 5, where I noticed that as I saved the game, the um, kind of save entry told us that we need to go to the general store. I guess the main story quest is continuing. Oh yeah, we have a big red quest marker over there. So let's go check it out. Uh huh, we also have a crate. What's in it? Ah, uh, just, um, I believe that's a medicinal herb. Here we go. Let's see. There's nothing in here. Huh. Well, maybe it's like in front of the shop. Yeah. Um. Why is everybody crowding around? Yo. Hey, Hazel. We've got a little problem on our hands. Huh? What's up? Yes. We've had trouble restocking our store recently, so we're running low on supplies. Lucas was saying the same thing. Then again, I didn't notice anything wrong. Not that I was paying attention. Um... Do you know what's causing the problem? I've heard rumors about monsters running a mock in the Gadius grasslands. It's located right along a major trade route. If monsters hold up tra traffic there, the flow of people and goods grinds to a halt. Well, that's... And with fewer tourists in town, we're really starting to feel a squeeze. Is that so? I can imagine. Why isn't C doing anything about this? Why indeed? Could it be that Seed has its own problems to keep it distracted right now? Um, is that the inn or um, no? Let's take a proper look at the map. Oh, it's the clinic, right. So we need to go to the clinic next. We can't stock up on baking ingredients either. For now, we're making do with what we can scrounge up around the neighborhood. Hmm. This is quite the dilemma. <laughs> but at least Elsha is happy about it. Uh huh. I'm sure she is, the lazy bum. In any event, our way forward is clear. I'll file a report with Seed and... Uh, hmm? What's wrong, Hazel? Ah. Oh, um, it just sounds like a tricky situation is all. That's right. Yes, as you can see. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, the monsters in the Garius grasslands seem to be causing these problems.
but since you're no longer a ranger, we can't exactly ask you to conduct field work on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Though I do appreciate the concern. Is that so? No problem. Huh. Okay. Where to next? There's no... No quest markers anymore. I guess we'll have to wait a while. Um... What do we want to do in the meantime? This is probably going to continue tomorrow or something? Have we ever been to this area over here? The, uh, the kind of brown one. I guess we haven't. So, let's go look into that. Can't continue the story yet. So, we'll make our own little bit of adventure. For this evening and afternoon. I'm not even going to bother with these woolies. I'll leave them alone. The same with the squirrels and things in here. Yeah, just let me pass, okay? Oh yeah, I remember. There were mushrooms here, weren't there? And then I kind of got overwhelmed by the frogs across the bridge. So I didn't go any further. But that was quite a while ago. Frog, why are you so difficult to get rid of? Let's... Maybe <laughs> use the lock on. Yeah, see, that's quite a bit more efficient with the lock on. So we shouldn't be overwhelmed by these frogs anymore. Yeah. Uh, they dropped something. Right. Viscous liquid. Branches and bamboo shoots. I guess we could pick up these bamboo shoots. And then we'll explore the rest of this area. Herbs. Purple grass, to be exact. There's a monster portal. And there are some woolies over here. Windswept. Agora, was it? Yeah. Woolies and uh, flowers. Yeah, I do quite like this uh, spear type weapon. Hmm. I think I'm going to continue using it at least for the duration of uh, right. this evening's right. adventure. Now, let's go see what's down here. Goblins. So we could have come here to uh, get those bandages back when we were looking for them. Oh well, Atoll's End was um, a good place to get them too. 
turnip. Is there anything hidden over here? In case we need lumber, there are stumps, but no, just kind of checking the trees for fruit. Although, as I'm no longer a ranger, I don't have my spell seal. So even if there were fruit in the trees, I couldn't do anything about it. As I'd need the spell seal to get the fruit down. High orcs are no problem for me anymore. I remember the time when these used to be very scary. Not anymore though. There we go. No drops. What else do we have around here? We have some minerals and gems. Is that an yes. emerald? It is! Hello. We can make the emerald rod or staff or whatever it was. Nice. Yes. Cool. Nice. Amethyst and earth crystal. And there's a really big mushroom. Big muck. Oh, hello, big muck. No drops from it. Let's All right. All get right. these mushrooms. Right. I don't know if it's a really good idea to eat them as they are because they can be poisonous. But maybe we'll be able to cook with them at some point. More herbs. I guess we go onwards. Discovering new places and biomes and creatures is always so exciting. Buffalo. So we've got buffaloos and buffaloos. Oh, buffaloos are quite tough. We are certainly getting skill ups, ouch. They also hurt quite a bit. Uh, let's kind of get a bit further away from them. Luckily, they are not very aggressive. We've only aggroed those two for now. Fire doesn't seem to fare any better than our spear here. Our spear has the stun ability, so it's kind of, kind of almost better than our magic because it can stun lock the enemy. Goodness, these took a while to defeat. All right. I don't know if I want to take on any more of them. Let's see if we can just explore this area a little without aggroing the rest of them. Would elemental attacks? Like, um, element and ele elements other than fire do better? Like we have water here? No. This definitely isn't doing any better. It's just, ouch. 
It's just that the attacks are very fast. Yeah, let's kind of get away. Also, maybe remove the lock on so we can get control of the camera. Well, I mean, this one's alone over here. So maybe we'll deal with it. And then go look at some other place. Yeah, maybe <laughs> not quite our level. Although they weren't red or anything when when um when we looked at the creature's name. It would have been red if it had been way too high level for us. So I guess we're kind of almost there, but not quite. Or I guess we could have defeated them, but Time to eat. it would have Delicious. just taken Delicious. a lot of time and healing items. Hmm. What are those? Up at the, um, just orc archers and orcs. Ah, oh, these are high level though. Okay, they take like practically no damage from our attacks and uh, they hit very hard. So, um, time for us to skedaddle. Are these safe? Yeah, these are very safe. It's a shame that there's no in between here. The flower blossoms can't even hurt us at all. And the orcs and orc archers over there are way too tough for us. Um, what are you guys then? More goblins? And you are quite safe for us too. Yeah, it's a shame that there's no kind of um in between. Although I guess the buffaloes are kind of in between. Those in that they um they don't take quite as many hits as the orc archers seem to. Ah, uh, let's see about these. Yeah. These are then kind of way too low level for us, I guess. What is this place then? There's a save point, and a rune flower, and a treasure chest. All right. Dark ball. Well, may as well save. To detective agency, it says. But... I didn't see a quest marker. Huh. Well. Um, excuse me. It's a doorway, but we can't go in. Ah. I thought it was like an optional dungeon or something. This is very disappointing. It totally looked like a dungeon entrance. Maybe it's going to be a dungeon.
dungeon that we can go into at some point later. For now though, let's see about that detective agency. There's no quest marker on it. And I guess it's kind of late already. It's after 8 p.m. But, um, we could go there and take a look. I'm uh, guessing it's too late in the day, though. We'll probably have to sleep overnight and then come back here in the morning. Ooh, this chair has a hidden pocket in between the cracks. Hardly surprising that a detective's office has so many little secrets. Yeah. Uh, Terry? You're not asleep yet, are you? No, you're just having supper. Nothing feels sleepier than a spring evening. You head on home and get some rest, okay? Alright. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, I guess we could head on home. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. At least we got a skill up from the uh, wrong button. Mm. Yeah, let's just go home. And uh, prepare for tomorrow by putting stuff away and and maybe brewing some potions. We did get more herbs, so I'm thinking we may be able to brew potions. Oh, and the emerald stuff or whatever it was called. We can make that. That'll be exciting. We'll get a new damage type. Or new elemental damage type into our arsenal and um, a weapon with a better magic attack. So let's go and make us that new stuff. Yep, magic attack 42. I think that's better than our earth stuff that we've been using. Let's see. Oh yeah, magic attack 26. And the uh, new one is 42. They are different elemental types though. So I guess I want to keep them both. Yeah, just in case. In case we want to use our... Um, magic attacks and and uh, we come across an enemy that is resistant or immune to one element it's good to have weapons of another element yes 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 
nice. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll just put the material stone away. It was right there and we had some RP left, so I thought, why not? And yeah, let's go use the rest of our RP by making some potions. We could just go to bed, but I don't know. I just think it's a shame to have to go to bed with very much RP left. Because you do recover to full during the night anyway. Right. Now we'll, well, we'll put some things away. Just in case we can go to a new area right away after talking to Terry tomorrow. So we'll have inventory space. I guess we want to ship a couple of things, so let's do that before we go to bed. We'll ship the scrap metal. And... Um, the antidote potion. We have the... Um, Medicinal herbs or grass or whatever it was that also cures poison. I guess we'll ship this too. One, two. And that's that. Now we'll go to bed. And in the morning, we'll be able to see what's up at the detective agency. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.